Finally, I can fulfill a dream. I've got a beard. Thanks to Wizards of the Coast. They sent me an amazing Caldine care package. And part of it was this Viking beard ready for Caldine. Uh, they sent me some amazing stuff. A drinking horn as well. And some lovely boosters that I'm going to open up on the channel today. Very, very lucky. Uh, really do appreciate the support. And I wouldn't get all this lovely stuff without you, the great subscribers that help push the channel. Right, that's the cheesy stuff out the way. Let's do what you're coming for. Let's crack some of those decadent collector boosted packs. So here we go. The most decadent of pack openings to be had today. We've got lots of these Caldine collector boosters. 15 cards in each. Hopefully get some amazing art cards. Um, nothing particular I'd like to pull, um, but yeah, I just love cracking packs, you know me. Um, so we're starting off with Akuma's Faithful, and we'll go through and have a look at some of these, and we will just show the glistening that is them. Giants! I've built Giants. Video was yesterday, was Giants. Check that out. Valor of the Worthy. What else? Oh, a nice disdainful stroke. You get lots of lovely foils in these cards. Uh, Boreal Outrider. Now, obviously, they're a little bit more expensive, um, because of the pure decadence in them. Um, they are, you know, if you want to treat yourself kind of boosters. Uh, Snow-covered island, yes, please. Harold Unites the Elves. That is a very nice card. Not shiny, though, but still a very nice rare. And we get our first alternate art. It's Realm Walker. It's a shapeshifter 2-3. Enter the battle, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. Cast creature spells, chosen type from the top of your library. Now, that does... Look pretty sweet. I'm actually going to zoom in just a touch so we can get the full, full glory of these cards. Rise of the Dreadmoor. Oh, look at that. That is Sweller Ice Shaper. Love these border. What do you think of these bordered arts? I think they're pretty sweet myself. And then we get Arnie Broken Brow. Oh, I just love cracking these packs. And then Marit of the Frost. Now, this was one of my best uncommons. So to get a foil around this, I think is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, it's just gorgeous. I'm probably going to be saying that ahead of a lot through all these. Just look at that. My EDH decks are about to become pimped. Blight Step Pathway. Absolutely gorgeous. Turns over to the Seer Step as well. Very nice foil. Full length art, look at that, lovely, and a spirit token. Wow, first pack was um, pretty tasty, gotta say. There's a token there, oh, double-sided token. Right, let's turn it over and start to see what we have. We have Carful Harbinger, nice. Grim Draga, Struggle for Skemfar, Raiders, Carve. Another disdainful stroke. Right, we're going for the play set of strokes. Invasion of the Giants. Going to be great in a Giants deck. Maybe there's a, you know, Commander Giants deck out there. Spirit of the Older Guard. And we get... Oh, they know me. They know me. They know I want blue. So get me with those snow-covered islands. Then we get the Blairs of Litjara as one of our rares. Um, this is creating shapeshifters. Very nice. Um, cool card. Resplendent Marshal, Mythic Alterna Art. Um, good in the Angels deck. So ends the battlefield or dies, exile number creature card from your graveyard where you do put a 1 1 counter on each creature control other than the Marshal. That shares a creature type. So very good in Angels. A foil blue god, Cosima. Now these, these packs are fixed. They just give me all the lovely blue cards. There's Marie. So this turns over to the Omen Kill. Very nice. Look at the decadence there. Um, so then we've got Marie of the Frost again. And, oh, Mythic. Starnheim Unleashed. Nice. Create a 4-4 White Angel Creature Token. So oh, you can foretell this and then just create loads. I was having fun with this card last night on Arena with Angels. I think it's a pretty sweet card. And it's a Foil Herald, King of Skemfar. Lovely. Look at that. And a foil full art. Mythic Resplendent Marshal. So it definitely wants me to go down the angel route, doesn't it? Definitely wants me to go angels. Uh, that is gorgeous. And then a foil shard uh, that turns over to be a dwarf berserker. So I'm going through these because, like, normally on pack openings, we, you know, this time we probably skip through 
the commons and stuff like that, but not in these decadent packs. They're just too gorgeous just to rush through. And um, yeah, I'm you know very lucky that they've sent these to me. Um, I you know I don't buy yeah to buy these yourselves. You you need to have a lot of spare cash. Uh, Cinderheart Giant Arctic Tree Line Snowland Gorgeous Smashing Success Rune of Substance Chaos Onslaught Snow Cover Swamp Well okay for the dim ear for the dim ear got my blues. Uh, Bounty of Skemfar. Reveal top top six cards you like. Put a land card from a moment in your battlefield tapped. And an elf card from a moment in your hand. Not bad. Wait, three mana. Not too bad. Tyrant Sanctum. Cool for gods. Then we've got Realm Walker. One of our um, foils. And one of our foil rares. Um, ends the battle. Choose creature type. Top card. we got another one of them. That's cool. Finn. The Fang Bearer. Oh, budget player's dream. Honoring it. Love Finn. Love Finn. <sighs> this actually is probably one of my favourite cards from the set. We've got a video coming out of this, uh, built around this card, because it is just so cool. Um, Turgid flips over. I just love when it flips over to this artifact. Target player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent. If you've got mana, you untap it. You do it again. It's such a cool card. Uh, one of the giants here, Eager the Freezing Flame. Oh, foil Toski can't be counted indestructible. Tax each combat when it creature you control deals combat damage player. Draw a card, Toski. Lovely. And then we get a zombie berserker that turns into a warrior as well. Wow, these packs are glorious. Glorious. So lucky to be sent this care package. Thank you again. Right, let's have a little look. A story seeker. Then we've got a recluse. Salford Meyer. One of the Snowlands. Stalwart Valkyrie. Jasper Sentinel. Rune of Might. Jewel Strike. I was thinking this could maybe see play in the cycling deck. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Snow-covered plains. Okay, now we've got the Esper. Raven's Warning. Cool card. Um, I really like the uh, third lore counter on that. May put a card you own from outside the game on top of your library. So, yeah, very cool card. Playing that in standard, definitely. Calamity Bearer gives all those giants. Makes them do double the damage they're meant to. Love it. And then... Hengate Pathway. Look at that lovely foil. Turns over to obviously the best colour in magic. Yep, I know. I said it. Miss Gate Pathway turns to the blue. Lovely. Inga Rune Eyes. Oh, I got a Green God Mythic with that lovely showcase frame. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, this turns into the Prismatic Bridge. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, begin of your upkeep. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest into the top of your library in any order. Wow. Great card. A foil marit. Foil marit. And blood on the snow. The wrath. Destroy all creatures. Now expensive. Costing six. But as other ability, you can destroy all planeswalkers. And then um, return a creature or planeswalker card. But cover to your cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with the amount of snow cast. So, going to be good in a snow deck, and I still think, you know, definitely seeing a little bit of play. Um, we get a replicated ring that flips into the elf warrior. Right, still, packs to go. Let's get on to another one, shall we? Okay, the first foil, come on. There it is, Drogo Recruiter. Then we get Elder Fang Disciple. I think this is a really good common. Comes in, opponent has to discard. Uh, a pack made. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Augury Raven. Fortel. Funeral Longboat. Ooh, a couple of vehicles. Colossal Plow as well. Nice. Rune of Flight. There's a, you know, the set of ruins. I don't know what I think of the ruins. Um, Snow Covered Mountains. We get one of the lovely mountains now. And our rare is a Sirtland Flinger. 4 6 Giant Berserker. Uh, Text Player Sacrifice another creature. Deals damage equals to sacred creature power to any target. Mm, okay. Oh, lovely. 
Cosmos Elixir. Can may will it see a little bit of play? I don't know. We can if you're interested, draw a card if you like. I mean, it seems four mana. I'm not too sure if it can take the spaces and four, you know, four mana slots in decks, but still very nice. Uh, Foil Resplendent Marshal, getting some more of those angels. Furjar, Judge of Valor. Lovely case start there. And then Surulf Realm Eater, the wolf. 3-3, three, three, rare, lovely showcase art there. Lovely. And Foil Narfi. Narfi is uh, definitely one of the strongest commons from Caldime. I think it's, you know, it's pretty good. And of course, look at that. Look at that glisten. Look at that glisten. And then a Cosmos Charger, Horse Serpent. Uh, Fortel, four telling cards from your hand, because one that's going to be done at any player's turn. Really good. Um, you will see a blue white foretell deck coming soon to the channel. Tiver Carl, well, we just need the Tiver now. Let's get us that Tiver, eh? Some more packing. All right, oh, this one was a real struggle to get into. Here we go. Let's have a look at this. Master Schooled. Then we have Axe Guard Cavalry, Undersea Invader. Shimmerdrift Veil, that does shimmer. Snowfall Sinkle, Plain and Swamp. Like the gates, but not. Oh, a foil Narfi again. Getting some Narfis out here. Foil Binding the Old Gods. Cool. Snow Covered Swamp. Second best land in Magic, other than the island. Ruthless Winnower. Ice oh, the big 8-8 eight, eight Kraken. Funny. Spells cost one is to cast for each snow land you control. So obviously it has to be snow based, but still, it's a nice big Kraken. Really funny. Uh, Reflections of Litijara. Enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type when you cast spell chosen type. Copy the spell. I think that might see a bit of play everywhere, you know. Harold, King of Skemfar. Another. Full art pathway. I don't mind getting these gorgeous lands, you know. They really do pimp out your commander decks. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Clear the throat. Then we get Svela, Ice Shaper. Uncommon. Gorgeous art, though. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and it's a foil tear. it got a fright again. <laughs> Love his card. Goes into the lantern. Oh, look at that. I love this card. I love that card. Oh, that token. Don't forget the token. It's a cat. It turns into... Human warrior. Right, we got what we got? Four packs to go. Nice, relaxed, chilled pack opening today. Not rushing through these cards because I definitely don't get to open these very often. So I'm definitely taking my time. Uh, Grim Draugr struggle to Skemfar, Doomscar Oracle, uh, Invoke the Divine, Frostbite, Lois, Frostbite, Runed Crown. Then we get a Vengeful Reefer, Foretell. I like it. I'm playing that kind of standard. I think it's pretty sweet. A Snow-Covered Forest. At last, we've got a forest as well. Uh, Ranar the Ever-Watchful, Mythic 2-3, Flying Vigilance. The first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. So this is actually one of these. That, that, there. Look at that. Ranar, Ranar. Sweet. Got myself a couple of them now. So right now they have watched. I think is a command. You know, having it as a foretell is going to be very, very, you know, just built around that. Calamity Bearer is nice. Cosmos Charger, good foretelling card. Vega Watcher like this works very well with foretell. Oh, we get a nice mythic called Turulf, God of Fury, Red God. Um, will this take the place of Toran in EDH? I'm not too sure. Um, it's going to see playing standard, obviously. Whenever a creature player and opponent cross dealt excess non commander deals damage excess to the target other than the permanent. And then flips over to the hammer. Um, a quick creature has two unattached, 12 damage, three damage when you target. You have to return his hand. Does get plus three, plus naught. And then Cole, the Forge Master. Another legendary creature. Uh, which is cool. And, oh, I forgot. We've got another Realm Walker. Well, Realm Walkers, it loves the old shapeshifters, these packs. It loves shapeshifters. Angels. We seem to get an abundance of them. There's a little treasure token on the back, as we see. Now, we go to Snakeskin Veil. Protect the guards for green. we got a Draugr Recruiter. Breakneck Berserker. A Ravenous Lindworm. 
Horizon Seeker. Get a saga. Love the sagas. What's your favorite saga? Um, forging the Tyrite Sword. Creating a treasure token. Then we get a Valkyrie's Sword. Do, do, do. Snow Covered Swamp. Lovely. Wolverine Riders. So one of the rares from the Commanders. Um, Beginning of each upkeep, create a 1 1 elf token. So that's got 6. So whenever an elf token is under your control, you gain life equal to its toughness. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. We get another Kraken, though. Kraken, Kraken. Every time I see Krakens, I think of uh, my friend Mr. Bevers. Foil Henge Gate Pathway. And obviously then flips into the Mist Gate as well. So getting those lands. Love them. Inga Ruin Eyes. Again, another Turkrig God of Fright. Wow. If Paper Magic, when I play Paper Magic, definitely be able to, you know, there's th I think there's three of them now. So I'll nearly be able to build a deck. I got a Freezing Flame. And another Foil Tosky Bearer of Secrets. Can't be countered. Lovely card. We got a Tybalt there. Tybalt the Imposter and turns into a treasure token. I've heard that Tybalt is um pretty good, actually. People that have played against it have generally lost when it's hit the field. All right, final two packs of this decadent pack opening. Come on, you can get in focus. Yeah, it can get in focus. It can do it itself. Master Schooled, Raiders Carve. We get an Alpine Meadow. It's the Yeti. Yeti. Axe Guard Armory. Foil Aegir Giant. Snow Covered Plains. Waking the Trolls. Destroy Target Land. It does got six mana this. There is a bit of a land destruction deck going out there. Skemp for Avenger. Elf Berserker. Nice. Rally the Ranks. Pump up your tribal decks with Rally the Ranks. Cole the Forge Master. Very nice. What else do we get? Oh, Cole Vori, God of Kinships. We get another Green God. Uh, very nice. We will swap that over and it goes to the Ringheart Crest, which for two mana is nice. Ends battle, choose a creature type, add a green mana, spend this mana to cast that of a legendary creature spell or the creature chosen type, which is pretty, pretty sweet. We then get a Svela and a Full Art Calamity Bearer doing that double damage. A giant wizard and a human warrior. Right, last pack. Last, last pack. Here we go. What are we going to pull out of these gorgeous, gorgeous decadent packs? Right, Story Seeker is the first one. Undersea Invader. Priest or Haunted Edge. Probably, to me, one of the, you know, probably the only viable snow decks that can be built is probably around that card. Uh, Dwarven Reinforcements. Volatile Fjord. Turgrid's Shadow. I do like Turgrid, though. Uh, Replicating Ring. Snow Covered Island. End on a winner. There we go. Uh, Ethereal Valkyrie. Spirit Angel. Maskwood Nexus. Cool card. Ends the battlefield. Uh, creatures you control are every creature type. Sorry. The same is true of creature spells you control. Creature cards you own aren't on the battlefield. And you can create a shapeshifter as well. Interesting card, that one. Uh, then we get the Foil Varagoth Bloody Sire. Blood oh, I'm making names up. Jesus. Blood Sky Sire. <laughs> Jesus. 2 3 Death Touch. Boast. Lovely. Right, let's get on to the next one. Cardu Doom Scorch. And then, oh, Aaron's Epiphany. Take that extra turn. Nice. Foretell it. Creating two blue bird tokens as well. Pretty cool carve. Mythic. Seven mana. Seven mana, though. Uh, then we get Harold. The Elf Warrior. And to get on another Kraken. But it's a foil Kraken. So I should be building Krakens without a doubt. A shapeshifter token. And we end with the Elf Warrior. So some cracking cards there. Um, thanks again to Wizard for sending me this my way. I really do appreciate it. Um, we got, you know, lots of fun stuff. And not forgetting, obviously, the beard. Uh, um, a nice candle as well. Going to drink out of my horn. Caldime horn. 
And um, yeah, it's been um, super fun. Um, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really helps to support the channel. And without you know all your support, I don't get you know free stuff like this to preview on the channel. Um, very lucky. I know that. Very appreciated. Anyway, um, subscribe if you're new. Obviously, always helps. Really do. Going to be putting lots of cow dime decks out there. So, you know, don't want to miss a video. Anyway, take care of you lot and I will see you on the next video.